So guys, I've got the Galaxy Tab S5e with me. And whether this tablet is something that's meant for you, I'll talk about that in a bit, but a couple of things right off the bat. It's extremely thin. It's really sleek. And that's the first thing I noticed when I got it out of the box. It's got a stunning display. It's 10.5 inch pure super AMOLED. It's got a 7,040 milliampere hour battery. That's crazy big capacity. And this is the Wi-Fi only variant. There's also an LTE variant. So you can just pop in a SIM card and you know, you can always be connected to the internet and make phone calls. But the real question is, should you be getting a good looking Android tablet in 2019? Especially when people have started calling Android tablets, nothing but phones with big screens. Is that what the Galaxy Tab S5e is? Well, let me give you a little perspective. Samsung is obviously one of the very few manufacturers who are now making Android tablets in this day and age. So if you have to get an Android tablet and you've got money to spend, the Galaxy Tab S5e is probably the best choice you've got right now. And let me tell you why. It's superior build quality. It's really lightweight given the size. And it's just, it's got a really premium feel to it given how thin it is. And it's got minimum bezels. I mean, they couldn't have gone any thinner else you would be accidentally touching the screen uh, when you know, you're holding it from both sides. But yeah, it's really just the overall look and feel. It's, it's thin, it's got this metallic matte finish at the back, which I think looks really good. Even the way the light bounces off the surface, it's just really classy. And it is the overall ergonomics that really makes me want to carry this pretty much anywhere and everywhere I go. The next is display. It's Super AMOLED, the best display there is out there, and we cannot deny that. It's all 10.5 inches of it with a crazy crisp resolution of 1600 by 2560 pixels. And guys, that's, that's dense. And Samsung has always been known for the best displays in the market. And the one on the Tab S5e is no exception. And it is the display that brings me to the third reason that it is actually a great tab for media and entertainment. So it's 10.5 inches high resolution display, 7,040 milliampere hour battery, one terabyte micro SD card storage expansion slot. So you can pretty much stream or watch content for long hours. And because it is lightweight, it's just so much more convenient. Plus it's got AKG tuned quad speakers with Dolby Atmos. And guys, Dolby Atmos, it's just amazing. I mean, there's no way I can explain the difference, but if you're watching Netflix or any you know YouTube video, turn on Dolby Atmos and you'll know the difference. And while I have a Wi-Fi only variant, but if you do get the LTE variant, you can put in a SIM card and you can then be connected to you know 4G data and you can make phone calls. So this becomes like a tablet smartphone and not just a tablet for content. But the last and the most important reason is Samsung DeX with the Pogo keyboard, which of course you have to buy as an additional accessory. DeX is Samsung's desktop experience that it delivers through its devices. So you can connect this tablet to the Pogo keyboard and then you can turn on Samsung DeX. And that gives you a fully, not a fully, but a functional desktop experience. All your apps are right here and you can then access your settings, quick settings from over here, and all your notifications are right here, like a notification center on desktop. Of course, you can access calendar and all of that as well. But just think about this for a second. Just look at how you can access apps. You can have multiple apps open, just like, you know, on a Windows or a Mac machine. You can just have apps that you're using cascaded one beside the other and just Think about the possibilities here. You can pretty much work on it like you would on a computer as long as your activities are not too intense, you know, just Word documents or Google Docs and spreadsheets, accessing and replying to emails, all of that becomes so much simpler and easier with this keyboard accessory. Sure, the keyboard is a little small, so it's something that you would have to get used to, but you do get used to it if you do tend to use it a lot more. So as long as, you know, the activities are just not too intense. And it's just about sending a couple of emails or working on a couple of documents. You can also connect a Bluetooth mouse and work on it. Now, I won't talk too much about the gaming performance of the Galaxy Tab S5e because I don't think people who are gonna buy this are gonna buy it for gaming. But hey, if you do, it's got Adreno 615, it's got Snapdragon 670, and it's got plenty RAM for you to be able to play most games that you throw on it. And it's got like this beautiful 10.5 inch screen with quad speakers and Dolby Atmos. And you've got 7,040 milliampere hour battery. So you want a game on it? Go for it. Uh, a word of caution though, it does not have a headphone jack, but you do get a 3.5 mm and type C converter. So you can just attach that. But that's one thing that I really miss. Uh, I think that should have been inbuilt. 
The Tab S5V does come with a fast charger and you're going to need that because it's a 7,040 milliampere hour battery capacity. You're going to need somewhere between three to four hours to charge it from zero to all the way to 100%. But let me tell you what the Tab S5V is not meant for. You can't be using it for very intense activities like professional video editing or illustrations. And that also brings me to point out that this tab does not support S Pen functionality, which I truly think is one of the best things to have. But other than that, for routine things, the Tab S5e is probably one of the best tablets out there at this price point. So if you're thinking of getting a tablet, this is probably the one to get at this time.